What is the most ridiculous thing you've seen someone do in an attempt to get laid? Part 2. Rent a sports car just to total it on the way to the girl's house. My buddy Esteban. Met a girl in college who was into metro men. So he shaved his armpits and eyebrows. And painted on fake eyebrows and put on makeup and a tight tank top and some skinny jeans and went to our frat party like that. He didn't get laid but he got a ton of attention from the gay guy Victor. I was at a party where a guy was really into me. We flirted a bit and made out. But clearly he was hoping for more. When I told him I was going home. He literally shouted wait. I have a 9 inch thick dick. In a desperate. Final attempt to seduce me. I think it's hilarious looking back on it. The only thing I wonder is, was it a 9 inch? Thick dick or a 9 inch thick dick? Thick o underscore underscore o. Hit on my wife right in front of me. I'm a mechanical engineer specializing in automotive aftermarket design. I'm also a huge gearhead. To top it off I'm a woman. I've had guys tell me at cars and coffee events that my car was theirs. Or that they did the work on my car, I do it all myself. I, I make a game of seeing how big of a hole I can get them to dig. Watching guys blow whole paychecks trying to get to strippers that gladly took their money. Stab the nurse who was looking after him having been injured during the arrest for his previous rape charge. Changed their whole lifestyle to be a burning man hippie. Super into crystals and yoga and deep conversations which are really just showcases for what level of burning man cliché they've ascended to. And honestly. It probably works though. Happens a lot at where I live. People get married just so they could have sex. Then their lives fall apart. Text a dick pic. Don't. Just don't. One of my co-workers at the call center agreed to hook up with some customer because the customer thought he sounded cute on the phone after their three-minute chat about her phone bill. He met her at a train station nearby and later told us she was 100% bunny boiler material and he bounced before they were even meant to get off the train, no shit Sherlock. What sane person asks random call center staff out on a date lol. My friend made a desperate attempt to get laid on our night out at this club. We only had about 5 minutes until the club closes. So first. He signaled to us that he will be back and the people in my group were looking at each other like what is he doing. He walks directly into the dance circle where he spotted this girl in the red dress. Now we can still see him and what's going on because there was not many people there, he attempted to grind on this woman, which keep in mind was the most awkward grind I've ever seen this man could have done. The woman wasn't even dancing with him she was standing still as he was trying to grind on her. What made it even worse. He tried to whisper to her ear saying for her to come with us. She didn't really give him an answer she just looked at him and looked at us and we literally left the club the minute she made eye contact with us. I can't take this man out clubbing anymore. Saw my dad flirt with my mom. When I was in high school. This guy in my class told me he had funny ways to flirt with girls to help him get laid. He told this girl right in class that he wanted to get a whiff of her butt. And she looked at him like he was crazy. Many people laughed. Except her. Some guys try to act all stood up and rich. Like bruh. I saw your Toyota in the parking lot. A guy I met on Tinder and was talking to for like 2 weeks bought a fucking car to drive 2.5 hours to see me. He's in my country's army and could leave the base on weekends. My town is the closest real place to the base so a lot of them set their Tinder location to here. He didn't ask me or tell me first. I was under the impression I'd meet him when he had his two weeks leave about a month later. He had also taken a turn the days prior and was getting absolutely insane possessive. Talking marriage. Typical crazy army boy stuff. It got to Friday night and he sent me a surprise. I spent 10k on a car to drive down tomorrow to see you. I may be the asshole but I blocked him. Coincidentally the night I blocked him I met my now boyfriend. So things turned out pretty good ha 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 ha. A guy in college kept hitting on the woman next to me during prop and stats all semester long. Loudly enough that most of the class could hear him pretty clearly. In between the professor telling him to knock it off. Finally he says you're like a cheetah. And I'm like a cheetah too. What if we were just cheetahs together? Eh. Eh. The professor. Having finally had enough. 
turns around and she says bragging about being fast is not a pickup line. Now move to the back of the class or leave. Or, whole class lost it and he finally shut up. A guy once asked me on a date. Telling me he had an extra ticket to a concert for either Friday or Saturday. He wasn't sure which and would have to check. Young and dumb me. I told him which day I was free and that happened to be when the tickets were. So I said yes. Turns out he bought them after. Once he was sure I'd go. Also turns out the tickets were $300 each, very good seats. Also turns out he was married. Well there was the time a girl wanted to have sex with me. Pretend to be a hick and like country. Now don't get me wrong I have nothing against country or hicks really but this guy, he was neither of those. He was a city kid who moved to a small ass hick town. Never worked on a farm never lived on a farm hell he didn't even live near a farm. Junior high and first few years of high school he was an emo. Dressed in black listened to my chemical romance and atreu but he wanted to start dating this girl so he started dressing like a hick. Wearing shit kicker boots. Leave us with a giant ass belt buckle tucked in long sleeve button up shirt. And cowboy hat. Yeah he really fit the part. To be fair he did manage to get with the girl but I guess she wasn't all that he expected. Or the fact that his new friends actually worked pretty hard on their family farms and it wasn't all mudding and bone fire parties. But yeah didn't last that long. Some guy at a small hangout was talking about how he was chatting with four girls at once on Bumble and one would definitely pull through. Said this at around 10 p.m. At around 12 one of the girls texted him to come over. His car was blocked in the driveway by his two drunk roommates. This guy offered to buy a pack of beer for each of them to move their cars. Did so. And left the party faster than you can text come over. True story from the UK about two weeks ago. A dude was so desperate to see his girlfriend who lived on the Isle of Man, who have basically shut borders due to COVID, that he rode a jet ski all the way from Scotland to try and sneak onto the Isle. Uh, he ended up getting caught and arrested for four weeks due to breaking the law on border entry. And potentially risking causing a COVID outbreak on the island. But that journey itself is extremely dangerous. It's something like 25 miles of harsh sea and this was in winter. The dude is lucky to have even survived the trip without a support craft. Beg. A jock spent at least 20 minutes in an all-night cafe trying to impress a hot college girl of his intellect and sensitivity by giving his oral book report on The Watchmen, a superhero deconstruction and Cold War allegory, which was, according to him, about love. He completely failed to notice that not only was she laughing at him the whole time, also laughing at me because she saw I was visibly in pain listening to him. But also that she was still 100% DTF anyway. Last year I was on a trip with several friends through South Korea. It was a wonderful time. However, one of the guys basically spent a lot of time on his phone just constantly swiping through Tinder. He found some chick that wanted to hook up and he wanted us to cut our trip to the big amusement park from an all-day visit to about 45 minutes so that he could go and meet up with her in some random city while we just, hung out. We said no. So he took a cab. Had dinner with her. Then realized somewhere along the way he'd lost the hyper-slippery metal container that held all of his cards, which had fallen out of his pocket multiple times on this trip already, and couldn't pay the cabbie for a return visit to meet up with us. Crazy thing was. She wanted to meet up with him again when we got back to Seoul. Dated the senator once. I talked about how I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. Edit, we're happily married now. Edit 2. NVM she lost the will to live. Some dude in high school came to a bunch of girls and said. Hey babes. I found a solution to end the period's pains, just get pregnant. If you want I can help with that. He got detention for harassment. Ask out every single girl in your class in the same day. No joke I was warned with two minutes in advance that this dude would ask me out because he literally asked everyone. He was incredibly desperate and I had to firmly tell him no not interested a handful of times before I just walked away while he was in mid-sentence. I had a bunch of people over for an annual sledding and gaming day. Most of them came from out of town. One dude decided to stay late. And I ended up letting him stay on the couch. It was a last minute decision but. Whatever. So he's the only one left and we're chatting on the couch together. I'm awkwardly trying to find an out so I could go to bed. 
it's a normal conversation. And the day was filled with friendly activities. So a fake there was no flirty interaction with this dude at all. I finally excuse myself and stand up. He decides to stand up with me. Pretends to fall down. And pulls me back onto the couch with him. I ignored it. Got back up again and wished him good night. And left pretty quickly. I know it's not outrageous. But I found it super lame and kind of dirty. Especially since the dude wasn't someone I was really close with. Just part of the friends group. And I had recently gotten out of a long term relationship around that time. My friend in order to sleep with a girl. He was seeing at time. Convinced her that they should just genuinely go to a motel and sit there and talk about feelings and should just sleep together literally just sleep lying next to each other. Hugging and cuddling. Well. To your surprise it sorta worked. Because she fell asleep. And said she had a good time. And said it really mature of him doing that. By mature she meant you just pulled some serious the notebook shit on me. Lad got laid. Thanks for watching.